Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another Stalkers Mod Showcase episode. Today we have um, July's episode. We have a bunch of different mods that have been released this month, which is great. Because normally um, summer is a... Uh, I would say there's not a lot of mods released in summer, but I could be wrong, as always. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, today we have a bunch of different mods. Uh, I don't know if I really want to talk about what's going on in the world, because honestly, <laughs> every day that passes, <laughs> it's really, really sad. We as a... As a species, we should be moving forward, not backward. Apparently, we, yeah, we're, we're moving backward. Look at the United States. They're moving backward. They want to hand, uh, you know, human rights, <laughs> literally. They want to hand, uh, well, they handed abortion rights, which is uh, privacy for women, literally. Healthcare privacy for women. <laughs> Remember that um, those abortion clinics, they don't just do abortions. They help couples that have, you know, problems impregnating. So, uh, I have to say, what the hell is wrong with you people? Everyone in the, in the world is looking at the United States and we're wondering, what the hell is wrong with you? So, everyone can get weapons, they can, you can go into mass shootings and kill everyone, and the people that defend that, they're the pro-life people. Interesting, huh? How killing children is part of the pro-life movement, but no, a woman can't have an abortion if she's raped or suffer incest or you know or the um, the fetus is not viable <laughs> really really <laughs> what's wrong with the, with wokeness you you know what wokeness is wokeness is being informed i rather be informed than being stupid thank you very much so yeah i'm always paying attention to the news and knowing what's going on and what's not going on, what will and what will not affect my life. And right now, the issues that this conservatives movement, or like far-right fascism, all that they care is freaking culture wars. Garbage. Garbage. I'm sorry. Can you pay your mortgage with culture wars? I don't think so. Can you buy food with culture wars? I don't think so. So yeah, that's what they're offering, culture wars. <sighs> Seriously. This needs to change. Now. Now. <laughs> and now is a, a very now, because our planet is literally burning. My country on the last 20 years, mm -hmm. due to fires, of course, 99, the 99 or 95 percent of them were, you know, have human origin. In the past 20 years, half of the area of my country burned. All those forests burned. The equivalent to half of the area of my country burned in the past 20 years. What the hell are we doing? Tell me, what the hell are we doing? We're doing nothing. Nothing. Government should be helping people. Government should be caring for us. But no, no, no. Then we have the the Russian fascist that's trying to take over Ukraine. I, I really hope that he, that he has a heart attack and dies. That would be awesome. And because it uh, doesn't matter how many people he gets killed, because he, he's not going to suffer, is he? <laughs> he's not going to suffer anything. 
Do you think he, do you think he cares about the, the Russian soldiers that, are, the soldiers that are killed? He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care. All he cares is power and money. Fuck everything. I am rich. I am the most powerful man in the world. Fuck everything. Jesus Christ. I am really, really upset. I was really excited for the mods that were released <laughs> this month, and I ended up talking about freaking politics, which is ridiculous. You know, what I would hope to see in my lifetime, the colonization of the solar system, yeah, colonies in Mars, colonies in the moon, terraforming Mars, going to the outskirts of, you know, the solar system. <laughs> Do you really think that's going to happen, the way things are going? Nah, not gonna happen. I feel like 10, 20 years from now we'll probably be all dead if things keep up this pace, but... Oof, <sighs> that was a lot. I just spent like the first 10 minutes talking about freaking politics. Well anyway, let's just carry on to the good stuff. So, first things up, we have the latest update for Anomaly 152. I'm not going to speak a lot about this one, because the latest release, it's not that big, and basically it's just fixes to to the current released version, just literally fixes for 151. I know that, uh, from what I read, the, the mothers are working on 1.6, which should be pretty good. We'll get there when we'll get there, I guess. So, I've installed it and I've played it, so basically it's, you know, Vanilla Anomaly 151. You can customize the gameplay to your to your likings, and uh, you, you know the the regular anomaly visuals and all that stuff, and that's pretty much about it. Mm. Uh, next we have Dark Signal 2.2. Uh, this mod is not uh, standalone. It needs Anomaly 1.5.1 installed as a base. Uh, do not install any other mods with this mod or this mod pack, as you know, it's not compatible. Anyway, uh, this mod is uh, an audio visual quality for of life and optional gameplay overall for Anomaly, focused on enhancing basically the whole game without being too hardcore. And also replaying, repl uh, <laughs> replaying, increasing replayability. So the the main features is that the almost all the sound is overhauled, many balance and gameplay alterations combined with the selected add-ons, more dangerous radiation, more present anomalies, bigger mutant packs, and variances in faction power and groups. A completely overall mutant spawn system, allowing mutants to hunt, grow their packs, and attack stalker settlements over time. A new dynamic nocturnal mutant system built from scratch for stability. A titan configuration set up for combined warfare plus story mode playthrough, which encourages exploration, crafting, risk taking and scavenging without limiting your options as a player. Dark Signal can be as immersive, chaotic or difficult as you like, literally. So, feature-wise... Uh, they're porting the quest system from Call of the Zone. It hasn't been finished. It's in, in the makings. Uh, Enhanced a life for mutants and stalkers, especially with warfare mode enabled. Uh, mutant packs will get larger, blah blah blah. blah. 
Uh, stalkers will dynamically export the zone and capture territory for their faction, that's interesting. Uh, unique to Dark Signal, Mutant Life has been enhanced tremendously, featuring a stable dynamic warfare based nocturnal spawn system, as well as overall semi random spawns for mutant players, with fixed mutant relationships. Uh, mutants will hunt, attack stalker settlements more often at night, and packs will grow over time if they aren't cleared by hostile style stalkers or rival mutant groups. Uh, this extends to underground areas, which are a lot more dangerous now. <laughs> Bring a lot of buckshot, buddy. <laughs> that sounds ominous. Uh, stashes are filled with better loot now, but often locked behind lock cases and boxes. You will need a set of lock picks to open them. Cases can contain weapons, artifacts, devices, supplies, tools, etc. Mutants bleed can be and can be wounded the same way stalkers can. Bounty squads have been expanded and are now more common. Well, that sounds great. A large amount of VFX enhancements. Anomalies look amazing now. Yeah, they do. Uh, new, more dangerous anomalies. More unpredictably anomalies spawn pa patterns. Tweaked settings for the Deo spawn system to promote more artifact hunting, even in the early game. Any anomaly field can spawn artifacts now. Enhanced shaders, shaders, <laughs> shaders for T TX10 and 11. Game very pretty, yes, yes it is. Animations for almost all items. Better loot drops from NPCs, weapons drop in better condition, overall traders from Trader Overall, a reason to visit all traders now. Means that there's diversified loot. Dynamic relations to have realistic rules. Uh, completely overall weather, environment textures, mutant textures and skyboxes. Some of the best weather I've seen for Stalker. Classic binoculars to detect enemies at a distance. HD icons, much higher stalker variety, it will be rare to see the same mesh twice, lore fr friendly models, or at least tons better than HD models, okay. Uh, companions teleport key, companions keep up more, companions are tougher and less prone to dying to a straight scano bite. Shift Key to quick take items, new stashes, faction rank and food, sleep first, status, bars and victory. Lost to the zone uh, DC, uh, which uh, enhances the base of the storyline and adds new quests. The ability to open the crafting menu on the fly by right clicking on the toolkit. Recipe requirements have been removed. As long as you have the tools, you can craft crap. <laughs> Weapons can be field stripped in the in the field using right-click context menu. Scavenge weapons properly now. Uh, key oil changes for the UI. Scope zooming will remember what you last used. Hunger sleep and first bar and the better. Already read that. Over. Over here and items to see how it will affect your stats with color coding uh, costs in tooltips. Uh, improved inventory sorting, no more crap bunched up on top of each other. Less hardcore starting loadouts. Start with more than just a pistol and some bread if you want. Talk to everyone, no more squad leader conversations only. Uh, mutant auto aim removed. Bob Weave Dodge, Enhanced Combat, Powered Exoskeletons to turn you into a super soldier, Rebalance Ballistics, no more old and damaged ammo, find cool new ammo types like anomalous bullets, dragon's breath, shotgun shells, etc. Quick melee with your weapon, using the middle, middle mouse button, better artifacts and armor attachments. Uh, the melee can you can customize the button. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have a lot of buttons for you <laughs> to customize. 
Um, your outfit and encumbrance will now affect the speed at which you can run and sprint. Armors are re easier to repair in general and more durable. Do patchwork repairs on the fly, only needing to visit the mechanic if parts are badly damaged. Heavy armor is tankier but makes you slower. Uh, more usable mutant cooking. Better stealth, enemies can't see through bushes anymore. Total playtime on key press, right control. Traders sell ba basic tools after a good wheel threshold. Remove, a <laughs> remove remote IEDs for sneaky assassinations. Uh, additional texture and visual updates. So, my personal experience of playing this mod. Well, I enjoy the gunplay, as like everything in Anomaly, it's customizable. Uh, the visuals are okay, although I don't like the. <laughs> the shader thing. The, like I said in previous episodes on other series. Uh, those custom shaders actually killed one of my GPUs, which was not fun, by the way. So I just disable it when I can. Um, my personal opinion, I would prefer the HD models, but that's just me. Uh, it's good. It's a good mod. And... Yeah, if you want to try it, I do advise you to try it. It's uh, an interesting counterpart to Gamma, uh, Redux, and uh, EFP. So yeah. Uh, next we have Dead Sky 2.0. I bet everyone was waiting for this one this month. Uh, unfortunately, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed with this one, but we'll get to that later. So, this one is a standalone. You do not need the original clear sky. You don't need to have clear sky installed to play this mod. You just unzip it and play. So, this mod is inspired by Misery. Uh, modification for color Pripyat. Uh, the textures have undergone uh, a rework, new sounds, but gameplay has also been reworked. The level of difficulty has been changed. It's not easy, but it's not hard either. Uh, weapons have been reworked too, from textures to sounds to damage, recoil and aiming. And performance was also improved. Uh, the new, the new engine version works on 64-bit, which is uh, comes with a launcher with a full gigabyte patch, which is great. Performance-wise, it is much, 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 much better than it was. And uh, my personal experience with this mod. Um, not very good. I was waiting for the, you know, for the English patch to be released to be able to play it, and so I have played it, and um, not happy. I did not like the the gameplay, uh, the gunplay. I mean, uh, as you can probably see the video firing a shotgun and I'm not killing anyone. And basically I I don't think I'm even hitting them. Because I shoot, I shoot, 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 shoot. And nothing happens. No, what the hell is happening? <laughs> then they shoot me and I'm dead. Just like that. I mean I like the the visuals, the visuals are really good. I have to, to give it that, but I don't know what's wrong with the, with the guns, at least this shotgun. It doesn't seem like I'm actually hitting anything. More like I'm hitting the place where I'm, you know, taking shelter. But yeah. Not very happy. 
not very happy. Anyway, the mod creator is also not very happy with this release, and he is working on uh, a third version, which I hope will be much better than this release. Uh, if you want to give it a, a try, as always, the download links will be in the description, but yeah, no, for me, this one does not pass. Anyway, next we have Singul Singularity, uh, this is a mod for Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, and it's not a standalone, you need Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl 1.06 installed, in order to play this mod. Uh, take a note that this mod is the, the dev build, which, mean the, which means is not finished and it's pretty much used just for, for testing. So yeah, I'm giving you that heads up, but it's pretty much playable from start to finish. Uh, some of the its features have been disabled, you know, to a death build. Anyway, uh, let's see what we have. Uh, zombie to scan over cat chimera poltergeist ability to use SDs has been uh, removed as as some game path errors. In, and script errors were found. Uh, they didn't used to start commenting on on scene changes, for example, bandits working with merch, you know, uh, new, you know, the news feed that normally shows up. Uh, fine tuned some weapon configs that needed it. It did more depth diversity to NPC weaknesses. Trader repair. Set has been fixed. Uh, the bullet ballistics have been totally rebalanced. The NPC smart terrains have been diversified. The mutant smart terrains have been diversified. Attempt at fixing some broken respawns. Uh, the vanilla broken respawn was fixed due to a typo. The military base NPCs. being hostile to the player have been fixed, but to a, a nimble they have been buffed their immunities to try and stop them from dying <laughs> all the bloody time to all the mutants literally uh, implemented custom additional visual appearances for freedom gas mask and disease to try and stop obvious clones made energy drinks more useful by making it so they restore some mental fortitude, 12%, to balance damage from side attacks. Updated graphic presets, fixed a couple overcooked normal displacement maps, uh, the SC respawn script has been updated, the bind stalker script which with function to get level on vertex IDs and position also been updated. The OGSR parallax normal shader value 0.1f to 20f has been adjusted. The occlusion factor also been adjusted in OGSR. The Krublov model was missing but now it's been fixed. Anger while sleeping has been disabled so players don't wake up bad. Uh, optimized weapon diffuse textures, rifles 2k, pistols 1k and normal maps have diffuse texture size. This has led to a 1.5 gigabyte reduction which should speed up loading without any noticeable drop in quality. Uh, some minor textural reworks, optimize NPC mutant normal maps resulting in a 300 megabyte improvement, that's okay, I guess. Um, fix mutant dog jump attack velocity, fix the ICTD in 
XR camp caused by the new flashes, not having a bone name beep zero one spinel. Uh, implemented a Sininia start effects and anomalies. Fine tuned campfire and other light sources and aided a slight flicker effect for added atmosphere. Uh, we balanced all NPC communities to align with new ballistics properties. Buffed regular ecologist super protections and communities against anomalies significantly, so it's now not totally useless. New tasks have been added for Nimble and Snitch, but these have, have been disabled for now. Uh, until it can be figured why giving these NPCs extra tasks caused the game to CTD when trying to save or load. Um, <coughs> fix all of the bug response, enable the small amount of scope movement for realism, decide to revert to Shadow of Chernobyl's North model with my overall texture, it just looks better than the CS model, and saves me having to edit the Snorkats and Pike's static meshes, updated ammunition descriptions, adjusted many light sources, anomalies are more visually interesting, and new artifacts have been given to the anomaly. They are meant to spawn from in 99% of cases, so it's lore friendly. Artifacts are more useful with buffed attributes as well as more in interesting drawbacks. Example, uh, jellyfish artifact gives a 5% bulletproof cap bonus instead of 2%, but gives a slight weakness to radiation immunity 5% while also slowly increasing your irradiated level. Uh, the mutant models have been added at the docks from Call of Pripyat, the flashes from Call of Pripyat, controller from Clear Sky, uh, Bloodsucker from Call of Pripyat, Bores from Shadow of Chernobyl and Custom, Phantoms from Call of Pripyat, Polar Guys from Call of Pripyat, Pseudo Dogs from Call of Pripyat, uh, Pseudo Giants from Clear Sky, Snark from Shadow of Chernobyl, Scanner from Call of Pripyat, and the Chimera, f the Chimera from Lost Alpha Tractor's Cut. Uh, Compability mutants, Blue Prow, the former animation in Crash Desktop, Prow A, Crash Des Desktop, no replacers for cats or zombies, stuck with Shadow of Chernobyl versions. So, uh, so yeah, so the add-on updates to come are, once cleaned up big blowouts will come out as a small update to be tested due to how touchy blowouts are with Zen, I'm not integrating them until we are absolutely certain they work without issues, we just got like our detectors. We have a baseline mode to use, but someone needs to replace the default Shadow of Chernobyl arms with uh, Clear Sky or Call of Duty arms. Uh, we'll talk to you Well, this doesn't matter, as this is other stuff. So yeah, uh, like I was saying, this is the, the dev version. And by being the dev version, you have uh, access everything. Uh, it's like you know, playing the game in easy mode, but ballistics wise, and from what I've played, the gunplay, uh, it's satisfying. I like the visuals, although I play during the night. Not very fun. Uh, yeah, do try this mod, although it's the dev build, it's still really good to play. Finally, we have uh, the zone, and I bet everyone was waiting for <laughs> for this one, as I know that this one's pretty pretty popular. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, is it's pretty good mod. So yeah, uh, regarding this mod, it is not a standalone for what I can remember. No, this mod is a standalone. You can get the standalone version 
and uh, not standalone version. <laughs> so I do advise you to get the standalone version as, you know, much much better and is less troublesome to install and play. Although, you know, it takes more time to download, but what are speed download speeds nowadays comparing to the old days? <laughs> Nothing. So, the zone is a complete overall of the game based on realism and inspired by Andrei Tarkovsky film Stalkers for the atmosphere. It is intended for veteran stalkers who like to spend time in the zone to explore, discover places and survive. All features of the base game have been overhauled and edited in mysterious ways and it's up to the individual stalker to find them out. The zone is truly alive and at work. The exclusion zone is deadlier and more alive than ever before. You will struggle and fight against the zone and its children as much as against the human population to give you a true understanding of its harshness. Be smart, not brave. Otherwise, the zone will punish you. Rookies and tourists die easily, be forewarned. Where will your story begin and where will it end? The zone knows. Okay, all this has been, uh, had been done while keeping stability in mind. There is only one dif difficulty and economy called the zone. Completely revised economy, traders, rewards, and tasks to be more immersive and difficult. Trade or barter items with stalkers instead of regular traders. Items are more expensive, more rare, and valuable. You have to manage and use them in a smart way. You may not know when you get your hands on the next medkit med or drug without having to pay Sidorovich. What you just earned with that last task. Uh, there is no elf regeneration within the zone. The gameplay is more hardcore, immersive and difficult, but fair and rewarding at the same time. Be smart, not brave, otherwise the zone will punish you. Uh, the zone itself is more dangerous to you. It's no longer just a level where you walk through, but dangerous and alive with its many anomalies and inhabitants. Anomalies are now really dangerous. You may have to use different suits for different situations. Well, that sounds fantastic. Uh, new and more anomalies. Also new and placed anomalies to make the game more tricky. Mutant spawns have been overhauled to make the zone more alive, but also more fair and challenging. All stashes have been overhauled. All achievements have been edited. You can pick hip from the start if you need more help. Uh, mission givers will not just end a tourist safari or a night hunt to a rookie like you. Uh, rank and reputation is more important for tasks, trading, repairs and upgrades. There are many new features for you to uncover like an all new fatigue system, revised sleep, stamina, hunger and first systems. Picking up already planted explosives, removing your helmet, and more new mechanics for you to find out. So yeah, um, for what I played, this mod kind of reminds me SGM and Stalker Soup. This is regarding the anomalies, as the zone literally is, you know, you can see me playing and see anomalies literally everywhere. And ready to kill you. Um, the gunplay is like an anomaly. You can suit it to your tastes, so yeah, I enjoyed it because I suited it to my taste. And yeah, well, do give it a try. It is a really good mod, um, just like uh, the other one that I reviewed earlier that I forgot the name already Dark Signal. So yeah, this is a different experience to Dark Signal, uh, give it a try, don't accumulate mods like I do and play them every now and then. Try to get a mod, finish it and then pass to the next one, just saying. Well, and 
that's that for this month. Well guys, and that's all for this month. Uh, as always, the download links for all the mods are in the description. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, stay safe and stay well, and I'll see you guys next time.